Zerg's back for week 31 of Destiny 2, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Reckless here. Welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell. That way you guys don't miss out on anything. Zer is back, and I am going to give you guys my recommendation for this week. He's located on Nessus at the Watcher's Grave. So, we're gonna find out what he has. Zer! What's up, dude? So, like always, we're gonna start with the left-hand side. The weapon of the week is the Risk Runner, which is an arc submachine gun. And trends of perk on this is Arc Conductor, which, when taking arc damage, this weapon becomes more powerful and resists incoming arc damage. Kills extend the time in this overcharged state. Then we have Arrowhead Break, Extended Mag, and then Superconductor, which, when Arc Conductor is active, which is this, shots fired have a chance to become Chain Lightning and return ammo. And last but not least, we have Short Action Stock. And like all exotic weapons, they also come with a plus 5 weapon attack mod. Now, this weapon is pretty good in PvE, not that good in PvP, but it still will get its kills. So, for PvE, I'm going to give this a probably a tier 2, because adds do group up together a lot. But in PvP, I'm probably going to give this more so a tier 3, because there are better submachine guns to use than the Risk Runner. Um... If you guys do not know what my tier scale is, I will put that in the description below. That way you guys can check that out. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Doomfang Pauldron for the Titan class. It comes with two resilience as well as one recovery. And trying to perk on this is Horns of Doom, which shield bash melee kills recharge shield throw. And then we also have melee ability kills recharge sentinel shield super. Next, we have Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, Restorative Mod, and this comes with a Void Impact Mod. Now, if you guys like to use your Captain America, uh, your Captain America uh, subclass with your Titan, by all means, go ahead and grab this. This is definitely a good exotic, and I probably would say this is the best exotic specifically for your Sentinel subclass. So go ahead and grab it. I definitely would rate this a Tier 2, uh, maybe even a Tier 1.5 in PvE as well as PvP. Because this is definitely a good exotic for the Sentinel. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Wings of Sacred Dawn for the Warlock. This comes with a 3 mobility and 1 recovery. Intrinsic perk on this is Tome of Dawn, which, when Dawnblade is equipped, aiming weapons while in midair suspends you there for a short time. Precision kills extend this effect's duration. Then we have Mobility Enhancement mod as well as Restorative mod. And this comes with a Power Bracket mod. Now, ever since they actually made the um, Dawnblade a little bit better, I'm still not feeling the whole being in the air type thing. You know, I I've done it in PvE, and it still will mess you up a lot. And I'm pretty sure it'll definitely be even worse in PvP. So with that said, I'm probably going to give this a Tier 3 to 3.5 in PvE as well as PvP. Because at this point, being suspended in the air isn't really a good thing or anything that you actually want to do. So, yeah. I probably, personally, I wouldn't get it. That's just me. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Gemini Jester for the Hunter class. And this comes with a full three rank of mobility. And trying to perk on this is Mobility Enhancement Mod. I'm sorry. <laughs> Intrinsic perk on this is misdirection. And that's kind of funny because they put it in a different place. Um, misdirection, which dodging disorients nearby enemies and temporarily removes their radar. Then we have mobility enhancement mod and posterior reinforcement mod. And this comes with a acceleration mod. I'm not going to lie. This kind of messed me up. Damn, misdirection. So... This exotic is an okay exotic, more so a PvE exotic, not so a PvP one, because it doesn't really work that well in PvP. But PvE, when you're going against ads, then yeah, it, def it definitely do does its job. But I feel that there are way better exotics out there for the Hunter class to use, so I'm definitely going to give this a tier 3.5 in PvE as well as PvP. I, I just can't see myself wanting to use the Gemini Jesters at all. I, I just can't. So, as for our consumables, we have the Three of Coins, 
which after popping one of these, you have a chance to get an exotic for the next four hours. And last but not least, we have the Faded Engram. I already have all the exotics in the game, so I'm not going to go ahead and buy this. It'd just be waste. But if you do not have one of these exotics, by all means, go ahead and grab these first before getting a Faded Engram because you do not want to be that guy who spends 97 legendary shards on one of these. So go ahead, grab these first if you do not have them, and then use the uh, 97 Legendary Shards on the Faded Engram. And if you guys enjoyed this Destiny 2 video, then feel free to watch these other two videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.